camera up. Yeah, just like that. Keep my hand in the fire. Guess how much it was. I give you five Don't cents. Learn my lesson till I let it burn, but never lose my desire. Had it from the moment that I felt my first love. I knew I'd never get enough of you. I take the risk like I'm bulletproof. Shot, shots in my heart, but it pleads the truth. A part of every little thing I do, like a tattoo. Just like a tattoo. I'll always have you. Never go back to where 
waited as long as I've lived Time's up Come get with yours and what's real Boot up Blissful in each other's skin Up That ascension Never going back to when When Before you Forgot my words Your love For me Feels like a rebirth I don't wanna lose this high I wouldn't wanna lose this high I just wanna make me yours I just wanna make Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new if you're just catching up my content you just found me here hello welcome how you guys subscribe and stick around because you're going to absolutely love it here this is a safe space for everybody and we're here to grow together to do some home decor lifestyle and a little bit of everything so you guys don't want to miss it but welcome to another vlog if you are already here and you are tuning in thank you so much for clicking on this video as you guys saw i just have a really relaxing morning i really needed to just take some steps back and just take my life a little bit more slower i haven't been feeling myself lately you guys like i don't know why but like i've just been having my times where i feel so motivated to film let's get this work done let's get inspired and then it's those days where i just don't know if because probably my cycle is coming to be honest but like i don't know what it is like i'm just not feeling anything like i didn't want it to film i didn't want it to vlog i didn't want it to post any content i barely use instagram to be honest i was just not really feeling it so i decided to take saturday off and that's the reason why you guys didn't got no video last weekend so i was just like girl just take your life slow like you're going too fast it's a lot of things that is happening in my personal life i mean i don't always share but it's a lot going on and i just needed to kind of like just distance myself for a little bit so yeah i'm so happy that i'm back i mean i was just gone for like a little bit right but anyways very excited for my routine this morning i just took the morning very slow as i mentioned before got a nice shower i did my skincare routine and all of that so hopefully you guys enjoyed that portion of the video and of course my coffee which i'm very hooked with you know my starbucks pumpkin spice latte so good so that's what i got this morning and i did got some leftovers from the breakfast that we did yesterday so i ended up just eating that that's the reason why i didn't show any breakfast or any cooking on this portion but that's pretty much how uh terence is out he said he's coming back soon but i don't know really want to romanticize fall season i just feel like every time i go to youtube or instagram they get me wrong because i'm part of that if you already follow me on tiktok and also instagram i did post some things for christmas and i know it's already october but it's certain things that i really want you guys to get your hands on it just because they're selling very quickly so i might just show you guys a few of those pieces here i really want to hold all my items to do like a collective christmas 2024 haul situation but the reality is that i want you guys to get your hands on this so i'm gonna be showing you guys some of the items that i got recently then eventually i will do like a mega haul for christmas decor eventually when we get close to christmas of course currently waiting for somebody that is coming to pick up a few things that i started posting on facebook marketplace since i have so much downtime and i wasn't really trying to film or anything i decided to start tackling on the second bedroom and i started just posting a lot of things on facebook marketplace so i do have somebody that is coming out to pick up these two things let me show you so i'm selling these hobby lobby wall art i do own two and i just don't need to honestly and i'm planning to also sell the other one because this is okay but it's not my fave it was like very trendy everybody was just getting it and no shade but i'm just like my space to be unique and when i see something that everybody have it's just like all right you know i don't like to have one piece here and there but like this frame everybody have it everybody have it so yeah i do own two once again but i'm trying to just get rid of one so i think she just texted me so i have to check the messages because i think my phone went off and this is the statue that i'm selling to her i'm just asking for ten dollars i mean you can tell like i'm literally trying to get rid of it so it's so cute it's nothing wrong with it i just i don't know like i just had so many of them like so many of them and i'm just kind of like very tired of it so she's cute she was on my vanity when i was living in my apartment 
on Winston Salem when I used to have my vanity area. She was there and she was popping. But again, I just had so many. Like I have a whole bean of statues like this. So I do want to keep a few, but not like this. So yeah, she's coming. She actually won both of them. So I was like, okay, girl, that's perfect because you know. So can you imagine y'all? I put this at ten dollars and somebody asked me, Do you take five? I'm telling you, the people down bawling me. I mean ten dollars for this is a steal. All right. You can find these at home because for more than that, so and I'm selling these wall art for five dollars. And it retails for twenty. But in a good day at Hobby Lobby, you can find it for ten dollars. I mean fifty percent off. So I'm asking five, trying to get rid of it. Like I can easily ask for more, but I just trying to get rid of it. Just a second, y'all. Yeah. Okay, she just texted me. She said she's gonna be here in 12 minutes. So that's perfect. I thought she was already here because she texted me she was on her way. But yes, y'all, I'm just getting rid of these items and I still need to post more things on Facebook. My messenger was floated. Like everybody wanted this wall art so bad because I mean, getting this for $5 is such a steal, but it's just, I just not trying to be too complicated to selling these things. I just want to literally get rid of it. Now talking about Facebook Marketplace, I cannot just get it out from the app. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm literally considering to the way the app because I don't know, like I'm just spending a lot of money there. And I mean, it's good money. I'm getting deals, like I'm saving for the items that I'm getting. But yes, every time I go to the app, I'm just always find something that I just get hooked. So I went to Facebook Marketplace yesterday and I was just scrolling and I'm not in that position right now to splurge because I forgot to give you a story time. I got up. Yeah, just like that. I was at work and I keep getting notifications of $100 here, $200 here. Basically, they just took my entire information from my card and they left me in zero. So I'm trying to figure out where my information got stolen. And the last transaction that I did, besides the Walmart, which is pretty safe, honestly, I went to Carowinds. I forgot to mention you guys that, but we got the season pass this year for Carowinds. And if you guys don't know, it's a park here in North Carolina. Like it's like, for me it's like a Disney. It have roller coasters and now they have these scare wings, which basically is like Halloween situation. It is so fun. I mean, if you're in North Carolina and you've been there, you know it's lit. So we recently got the season pass and it's been amazing. Let me put this back and I can show you guys eventually. But um, it's been amazing. So yes y'all um we went there i'm probably gonna post some pictures we went to times the first time ever terrence never been in that park before he actually never been in a roller coaster before so we just experienced all these things together and it's been so amazing because again youtube can sometimes feel like a job because filming and editing takes a lot so i really wanted to kind of like just distress myself from it and just kind of like do something fun so we will come back again to try more things because that part is huge but i remember we went to these little like picture machine that you just put your card or your credit card whatever it is it prints beautiful pictures for y'all you know so i really wanted to kind of like collect memories and all that every time we go to a park or somewhere so we ended up just taking pictures and when it comes to stuff like this i don't mind to pay for him or he paid for me like it's not a big deal so it was like eight dollars i think or four dollars either one so i was like, okay i got it and i swiped my car and i would say maybe a few days later everything went downhill so right now everything is under investigation and i did got a few of my money back but i'm still missing a couple hundreds so i'm gonna have to call the bank today and see what's up because i'm still investigating they actually asked me if you know just i guess to make sure if it's not me they can see how the transactions were like in seconds like back to back you know so it's clearly not me and they were asking me if i lost my car i said i do have my car right now like literally on my hands so they ended up locking that card and i'm waiting for the other one to get to my mail probably they send it up yesterday because i just got a notification yesterday and yes you guys i've just been dealing with that thankfully i have another bank account that i don't really use often so that's how i've been able to kind of like move and thankfully my boyfriend is a very supportive boyfriend like he don't mind to you know take over so yeah i'm so appreciative for that but right now i'm just kind of like stuck like i'm just waiting for the investigation waiting for them to just refund me the entire money in my entire card 
and it's just so frustrating y'all like it's so so frustrating so i don't know i would say like dealing with that dealing with the neighbor situation with other things i was just kind of like i want to log off like i need some time for myself i don't want to film i don't want to i don't want to do anything so that's kind of where my mindset was back then so anyways we have fun anyways we went to Carowinds and also Scarewinds and we have so much fun so I cannot deny that but I'm guessing that they probably took my information from that machine since it's a very public area I mean I don't know I'm guessing because I don't really use that car that's the thing so anyways since then I've been just very down because it's almost like having money but not having money at the same time so it's very frustrating so anyways I went yesterday to Facebook marketplace and again I was just randomly looking and I saw this gorgeous wall art guess how much it was I give you five seconds comment down below how much you think I pay for this let me give you a close up. How much do you think I paid for it? I pay only five dollars for this. I mean, I literally told my boyfriend she must be trying to get rid of it. Like, regardless, at this point, this can be free. These are so expensive. Anything vintage, anything with these oil painting mountains. Look at the details too. Anything like this, you guys go so expensive especially the size i'm bad with measurements by the way so i thought this was like a really small kind of like picture frame right it is huge and i do love the frame even though it's like this chocolate i do love this frame so this kind of like motivated me yesterday to get my hands on the second bedroom and try to just kind of like clean it up and post things on Facebook Marketplace, get rid of things because I want to start working on my office space. I work on my kitchen countertop a lot when it comes to editing my videos and stuff like that. But like, I mean, it's comfortable, but sometimes I just want to be in my own little space. Mine can be a lot sometimes, so I really want to just have the little space that I used to have in my last apartment. I used to have my entire office for myself and yeah, this kind of like inspired me to like, girl, get your stuff together because I'm just ready to see this piece. It, I mean, it might not go there. I was thinking the office, it might not go there. It might can go somewhere here. But I love this, $5. I ended up driving 35 minutes away. So I was like, whatever makes me happy at this point because I'm going through a lot. So super excited, $5 for this, insane. Now, I really want to keep this entire video fall related just because I just feel like we are jumping so fast in the season. I'm here for the Christmas, you guys. You know, I'm very obsessed with Christmas. I look forward. Matter of fact, every time that I show you guys an apartment tour because I move out or something, you guys know the first thing that I look is where my Christmas tree is gonna be located. Like, that's the first thing that I do. Like, even when I came to this apartment, which, if you're new here, we just moved in here like probably six months ago, I would say, six or seven. The first thing that I said on my video was like, I'm planning to put my Christmas tree right here. But yes, I was already on Christmas mode. Like I'm always on Christmas, but I cannot bring myself to put Christmas stuff right now. And if that makes you happy, do what makes you happy, of course. But I cannot see myself doing that. I can't. So they saw a few people uploading their videos, decorating with me and stuff like that. And I've been enjoying all that because again, I'm not hating Christmas. I love it in any type of form but i really want to romanticize fall so we're about to do a bucket list whenever terrence come back he did tell me he was about to go to the grocery store to pick up a few things so i'm just waiting for him we might can just go to a park later just do like a little walk or something just to get our workout but also just kind of like distress ourselves for everything that has been happening but yes you guys um i just really want to romanticize fall but i really do want to show you guys a few things that i got for christmas because they are selling out like crazy a quick update as well if you guys are interested about my neighbor situation i will link that video in the description box below that's the story time about my neighbor just being on my nerves and I put her in her place and I'm so glad that she haven't wrote any letter to me because I was very specific on my letter stating that I don't need an apology back or a letter back. Just leave it how it is. So she's been very quiet, okay? She's not really bothering us. Um, I don't really see her. Before I was barely seeing this woman, so now I don't see her like completely, okay? So she's not really engaging with us. She's very, very quiet. She still has her blinds closed. And I think she generally just feel ashamed. She probably feel, I don't wanna say she feel bad because I don't think so. Some people generally are just bad people and that's how it is. 
but i do believe that she feel embarrassed because as i stated in my video she thought the whole time that she was anonymous she didn't expect me going off like that on the letter just pretty much saying everything that she's been done to us since we got here so i think it's more like she feel embarrassed so she's just been having her blinds closed this whole time <laughs> i'm about to start showing you guys some of the things that i got for christmas however as i said before i'm planning to do a collected christmas home decor haul 2024 maybe mid november almost december but i do want to show you guys this item i did show you guys some of these pieces already on tiktok and instagram so highly recommend to follow me there because you took take a lot of editing and it's hard to just kind of lie in real time you know instagram i just pop my camera and i start talking in real time so okay i do grab a few more things than this if you guys want to see what else i got just follow me on my tiktok or instagram i just don't really want to bring christmas content yet i really want to romanticize fall so anyways i just really want to show you guys this you guys know i'm obsessed with garlands if you're not a social media person and you haven't been on tiktok lately you are missing out a lot of bottle items that they are just literally selling out so quickly and we are literally in october like it's not even halloween yet so we are talking about the vital my texas house collection this is from walmart y'all you guys know walmart is not like my fave but they do be stepping in on the game i'm not gonna lie just a second y'all she just got here let me just give her stuff and i'm coming right back oh she was so sweet okay perfect i don't have to worry about nothing everything got sold so i had to just keep posting my things on facebook y'all <laughs> anyways so going back to this garland this is my texas house collection I'm pretty sure you guys probably saw this on tiktok if you guys are getting on that social media because it is so viral i mean look at this gorgeous garland it is so fluffy the best part is only 29 dollars y'all 29 and it's nine foot right here i mean it is stunning absolutely stunning it is so full as well and you guys know when it comes to the green right now it looks kind of like very bright because i'm pretty sure you know all the lighting here even though all my windows are closed seriously but this is such a beautiful find y'all like i highly recommend to get your hands if it's one piece that i really want you guys to get your hands on this year it has to be this garland if you don't have no luck with the hobby lobby which i do own that one i already show you guys that in a previous vlog i did purchase two with a 50 percent off you pay 50 dollars so it's kind of pushing but the quality is amazing now that one is six feet so you do have to like double up so it looks more longer because as far as how full it is the one from hobby lobby it is chef kiss but for the price this one for 29 dollars is literally the do for the hobby lobby one so highly recommend to get your hands on it i will link it down below so make sure you guys check my description now it's been out of stock for a while so just keep looking because we're still in october so i'm pretty sure they probably just kind of like slowly but surely kind of like stocking things but in reality we're not even close to christmas so i'm guessing that they're probably just trying to kind of like just put things slowly so everybody can get your hands so i did purchase six okay I also have another box from walmart.com that ordered two extra matter of fact I ordered those first but I didn't know how they look like in person so I ordered two and then when I went to the store I saw a palette with a bunch of these and they wasn't even on the shelf you guys know how I am I used to work at walmart a long time ago so I can recognize the boxes very well so I ended up just opening the box and I grabbed that day four more so in total I had six garlands and my boyfriend had to stop me because he was like baby you don't need no more like just stop i say 29 dollars are you kidding me i'm here thinking about whenever i get a house if we do a townhome or something i just want garland everywhere so definitely you guys get your hands on these my texas house collection they do have beautiful ornaments beautiful decor i mean just look everything else but the garland i really needed to talk to you guys about it because it is stunning totally worth it i also went to a vintage shop not long time ago and i grabbed a few pieces i cannot wait to show you so stay tuned for a curated home decor haul for you guys i kind of want to collect all the things that i've been purchasing for the past two months and those items that i recently got last week so i can do a collective home decor haul for you guys but anyways let me go ahead and just do part of this editing i was also thinking about filming an apartment tour today which if i do i don't know if this is gonna go first or this is gonna go after i'm not sure honestly i'm gonna try my best to make that video today 
I did a lot of cleaning yesterday so the kitchen the countertops everything is clean and I just love when everything is like this because it's like the perfect time to just drop an apartment tour even though you guys kind of saw how everything turned out by areas but I did got that question in one of my videos somebody asked me if I'm gonna do a full apartment tour so I'm planning to do that because I've been wanting to do an apartment tour since we moved in here and purchasing some furniture just getting some holiday content it's just been kind of like a lot so yeah I will show you guys a fall edition apartment tour and it's gonna be more like me talking through so I hope you guys like that format because I do love to talk <laughs> and I was also considering do like another apartment tour with no talking just straight up music so we will see again you guys get this video before or probably after You want a bad one Well, baby, I'm as bad as they come Said you want a hot one yeah. Yeah. You with the hottest under the sun But be careful what you wish for Make you eat your words If I'm more than what you bargain for Fun to flirt But promise to deliver Much is required Cause look at what I'm giving you I was just trying to get my bucket list for this fall um i really want to just romanticize fall as i mentioned before in this video i want to do a lot of things especially me being in this new relationship with terrence terrence is very outgoing like he don't really say no to me like he's just like okay let's do it like when so i just love how outgoing he is because i just very adventure as well and i just want to have like a bucket list for this fall and as i mentioned before i really want to romanticize the season i just feel like i was telling terrence that i've been putting a lot of effort in my apartment as far as i like, furnished the apartment just getting everything situated holidays fall new decor here and there and i'm just like okay I, we need to do something as a couple okay we need to travel more we need to we need to do a lot of things together okay besides the house besides the decor content which i'm here for it because you guys know i'm never gonna get tired of that but we're definitely gonna work on a bucket list this year i really want to do it together but again he's a very outgoing person so i know anything that i put there he's gonna be okay with it but of course i want to include him or i might can just do my bucket list and if he wants to add something that's fine with me as well i was trying to get inspired here on the internet but some of the things that they're putting in i already done it like for example decorate for fall like i already did <laughs> definitely want to go to like a pumpkin patch i never done that in puerto rico that doesn't even exist and i've been here for over 10 years now and i've never been in a pumpkin patch like never in my life so even though i'm not crazy about pumpkin like that i just want to have the experience to go and see the pumpkins or I don't know just see what's up i heard that some of the pumpkin packs they do serve some desserts um fall drinks so that would be very cool definitely want to go to a long hiking if you guys know me personally i'm a freak of hiking i love outdoors i love nature i used to do hiking for hours which now me thinking about it i don't really exercise like that but back then i was just very into it like walking extra miles and doing a lot of things so definitely that's on my bucket list i want to bake whatever it is it can be cookies it can be a cupcake i don't care i just want to bake something for fall i also been doing a lot of like fall recipes in my opinion because they're more like soups and stuff like that so i did the chicken stew that you guys saw previously i did another chicken stew but this one was different i added heavy whipping cream i also added cream cheese and mexican cheese oh my god it was so good i added carrots vegetables it was delicious we still had leftovers from yesterday because i cooked that yesterday so that's gonna be for lunch or dinner so i've been doing that i'm not really vlogging it so eventually i can show you guys those recipes but i just been cooking that kind of food i definitely want to get more creative as far as fall drinks so you guys know i've been hooked with like pumpkin lattes and stuff like that so i kind of want to explore more do different coffees um not just pumpkin it can be i mean whatever i just want to see what other flavors i can use that they're more fall related i'm thinking about probably do the porch outside i did add it already some mom's flowers there they are this beautiful orange i already showed you guys in a previous vlog before that's the only thing that is fall related outside right now but i was thinking about adding some throw pillows there um maybe some outdoor 
flowers that they are of course fake but they will last of course for the season so i was thinking about kind of like doing like a porch kind of like you know decorate with me over there and just get that festive because i definitely want to spend some time outside since it's getting cooler now in the mornings so that's kind of like on my agenda i definitely gonna add more on my bucket list but the one thing that i definitely want to do and i'm praying that we can do that because our jobs can be very demanding sometimes they add extra days that we need to go because the overload i mean it's so much work coming in during this time so they are requiring all the employees to be there of course so we will see how everything goes but we definitely want to go to a cabin i never had that experience i've been on youtube stalking everybody on tiktok and it looks like it's fun if you're not like a nature person you might see that boring but i was thinking about renting a cabin with a nice fireplace real fireplace definitely want to grab some groceries so whenever we get there we mainly just gonna disconnect i even told terrence we don't even have to leave the cabin we don't want to i mean it will be fun to look around and see what else is around but I just want to just complete this connect and I heard something that is kind of scary most of these cabins don't have signal service because it's more like a getaway like you just disconnect from the world and you just press in it's kind of scary on these days to think about it but at the same time I kind of like the idea to be present so definitely that's in my pocket like just be in the mountains and just be cozy matt's of course gonna be with us so i have to make sure the cabin allows dogs so we don't have that issue but yeah i just really really want to just have that experience and just be in the mountains that's all I, that's that's all like i just want to be in the mountains definitely want to roast marshmallows i don't think i ever done that and i know amazon sells something that you can actually do it you know at home so either one it's fine if we don't do it in a cabin we can definitely do it here like a date night so marshmallows and ah uh, i mean i'm so excited for this season i'm telling you guys that i just cannot wait i seriously cannot wait i also want to go to a live music where we live locally we have some artists that they sometimes throw some little concerts here and there um so we can definitely go to one of them and just have fun i mean honestly i just cannot wait to romanticize fall and just this kind of little bit from christmas content again i really want to just enjoy fall for now and yeah so i'm so excited so comment down below what are the things that you are looking for on this fall what are the things you are planning to do with your family the things that you are planning to do for yourself maybe start reading a book like what are the things that you are looking for for this fall these are the things i want to start off my bucket list is not done but definitely these are the things that i'm planning to do with terrence this year and i'm definitely looking forward to do that so what are the things that you're looking forward to do please comment down below so i can get inspired and we can just be on the side of fall content because christmas is driving me a little bit crazy right now